Good look at Michelle Sorg there, the chef to keep of Team Switzerland, watching his ace, former Olympic champion and defending champions here, Steve Gerdat and Van Aert. So Steve Gerdat of Switzerland, 2021 CP International winner, 24th in the world currently in the uh, standings, and his nickname, Steve Wonder. Steve Wonder, indeed, a national hero and sports icon in Switzerland. If I'm not mistaken, in 2012, he was the lone Olympic individual gold medalist for Switzerland, and that vaulted him up to the top of the sports registry nationwide, whether you're a summer or winter Olympian. Amazing horseman has done it with many horses and with this uh, Cell Francais gelding, 13 years of age, they both are in their primes right now. And smoothly through that a combination that has given many horse rider combinations a headache this afternoon. Gerdat uh, had four faults in the first round of the BMO Nations Cup and didn't even have to go in the second round after his teammates all went clear. Can he clear nine? Yes, yes he can. Is the answer. And he gave that fence a tremendous amount of respect from the time he landed at 8B till the time he got this big gelding over it. Pulling back there to get over the Sydney planks. Two obstacles left to go. A lot of time, 86 seconds as Steve Gerdat comes to the final obstacle. Balancing up. The horse looked like it wanted to veer off. And across the finish line with uh, 47, 100 to the second, our third clear. So Steve Gerdat. Posting uh, the third clear of the afternoon in a time of 85.53 seconds, and that will move him into third spot behind McLean Ward of the United States and Gilles Thomas of Belgium. Here he is coming over the Beijing uh, Dragons and then the Sydney Planks, but it was at the end of this course. That horse took the bit in its mouth. It looked like it wanted nothing to do with that Rolex vertical, and Steve Gerdat, Steve Wonder, said, I don't think so. <laughs> Great bit of riding there. And the defending uh, CP International champion in good shape as he will advance to the second round of this competition as we take a look at the leaderboard. Remember, it's the number of faults and the fastest times, and so far it's McLean Ward, Gilles Thomas, and now Steve Gerdat at the top of that leaderboard. And sitting on the bubble is Kevin Stout of... Uh, France with eight faults in a time of 81.32. So we go to the final four. All of them clear in the first round. All of them under the allotted time. So this is where the pressure ramps up. Um, if they can go clear again, they move to the top of the leaderboard. Here's a guy that knows how to deal with pressure. Switzerland's Steve Gerdat, defending champion, former Olympic gold medalist, former World Cup title holder. Currently ranked 24th in the world standings. He has complete trust and chemistry and rapport with this horse, Venard. 13 year old gelding. Carries himself so casually. Gerdat's nickname is Steve Wonder, and you have a large crowd wondering if he can go double clear in the CP International presented by Rolex. Readjusting his reins before he takes on this huge vertical. Bit of a tap there, but he got lucky. Approaching the Dutch bicycle. Bit of a rub there. Now this pair of oxers that have posed some problems, but not for Bernard. By the Liverpool there now into the Swans. Oh. 
Using his voice, the horse responds nicely. And Steve Gerdatz of Switzerland going double clear under the allotted time of 72 seconds. And that will move him into first place. The defending CP international champion rising to the occasion again. That is pressure. And that is answering pressure. Look at him balancing Minard down this final line. Knows that he's got it done, pushing to the final. And now his waiting game will be from the clock tower as he goes to learn the jump off in the event. He's called back into the ring once more with three to go. And Gerdat says not only do the horses teach you something about them every day, but also about yourself. And this partnership uh, is about to learn if they're going to defend their championship at the CP International with three riders to go. He'll just head over to the on deck. This is going to be just a dynamite jump off over 340 meters of track. Eight jumping efforts. Time will determine the final place in the case of a quality of vaults. And uh, I would say uh, Gilles Thomas, the young Belgian, unofficially setting a new Spruce Meadows course record for number of rails <laughs> tapped without <laughs> them coming down. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That's uh, three double clears uh, under uh, some very trying circumstances. I mean, the pressure on these riders, as they saw what was in front of them, you've got three double clears. There's a total of $3 million on the line. There's the Grand Slam designation that you're trying to achieve as well. Uh, I mean, there's so much on the line here. It is It is just a, a magic atmosphere. There's not a breath of wind. There's not a shadow to deal with. High overcast, 24, 25 degrees, I'd say, outside. And a, just a, an electric atmosphere here. No one has left this facility. And I don't th I think anyone's uh, breathed over the last half hour or so as well because it's <laughs> because it has been so dramatic and uh, the drama continues. And Steve yeah, Gerdatt, Steve Gerdatt uh, coming back to the international ring, the defending champion. Martin Fuchs right at his side there. They're running through the jump off, doing a little imagery. And the horses, uh, does fitness come into play now as we these get are, ready for their third tour? Well, one, two things. These are elite athletes. These horses are super fit. This horse is from Switzerland, so it's accustomed to the altitude too. So, uh, you know, I think uh, the, the disadvantage is Steve is first in. Right. And uh, the other two will know what has been laid down to beat, although as one of the all-time greats, the defending champion, uh, you know, he'd take he'd take anywhere as long as he's in the jump off. All right, so we've got uh, three combinations here in the jump off to decide the CP International presented by Rolex. And up first, it'll be the defending champion from Switzerland, Steve Gerdat, currently ranked 24th in the world. The individual gold medalist at uh, London 2012 on Nino de Ricine. And he was fourth on that same horse at Rio 2016 and bronze medalist in the team event at Beijing 2008. So uh, Gerdak can ride pretty much anything that you throw well, in front of him. N Nino was an amazing horse. I was at its retirement in Geneva a number of years ago. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. And Steve respects what that horse delivered for him. But what it never did do was deliver a win here. And this horse has done that and is looking to do it again. And that would be a historic feat back-to-back -back wins with the same horse. Only the great Rodrigo Pessoa has done that with Gandini Lianos. So Gerdat wants to be clean and fast to uh, throw down the gauntlet for Daniel Deusser and Gilles Thomas to come. Yeah, new, new obstacles on course, a couple of new ones, plus some combinations like this from the first round. Oh, oh, so it opens the door. Oh, down goes that rail. So he's sitting on four as he bends back now to this big auction and then down the final line to this very big vertical that he took the horse over to see before he started the competition. And so a tap on that final obstacle, but that'll be four faults for Steve Gerdat, the defending champion, Andrew. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, as we watch the next uh, riders in the jump off here, it's that center line that's going to come into play. 
the riders are going to try to carry as much speed as they can over the first three jumps in the jump off and then they need to settle right back down to jump this technical line in the middle the short four strides to then the swan combination that uh, requires quite a bit of scope to jump out over the ox or clean and then pick it up again to finish uh, as quickly as they can without faults on the last line. So Steve Gerdat, the defending champion of the CB CP International, uh, leaving the international ring with four faults in the jump off in a time of 41.7 seconds. But you'd have to think one of these two. Steve, can I ask you just a little bit about the jump off? You were the first one off. So what, what is the game plan there when, you, when you're first of the three to go? Um, yeah, my plan was to give it a try. I had such a good feeling on my horse to jump unbelievable the, the first two rounds. And I just did one jump. I wanted to do two or three jumps before the jump off. But I just did the one jump, and he jumped so good in the warm-up that I thought, OK, he's, he's ready. So I went in very confident. <laughs> Um, one to two, I didn't have really the distance I wanted, but uh, okay, jumped it very well, and then I could attack a little bit more to three, and then um, I had a very good angle to number four. But the fourth stride got really, really short uh, for me coming into the double, and he tried, but unfortunately we had a rub there, and game was over. Yeah, this is the reason why we like those shows and why a show like Prosmedov is so special. Is not just because of the turf course and the, the history of the show. This is made also by the public that, that comes here every year. And um, we wouldn't do our sport if it wasn't um, for the public as well. So this is, of course, um, everything at the same time. It is a big reward to us uh, to be able to en enter an arena like this. Um, and it is also a big motivation to, to try and perform at our best for those people that come and support our sport. Steve, a little question. Uh, in 2013, the first time we had the Relax Grand Slam here, you were second uh, with NASA, and you were disappointed. This year, you feel uh, to be really happy also to, uh, to be uh, even second. Is it also because you were first last year and with the same horse, is something uh, incredible to do it uh, two years in a row? Or is this because you are now 40 years old? <laughs> it's and the father. <laughs> No, um, it's probably because uh, I'm a good, uh, or I would be a good poker player, because you have no idea how, how bad I'm feeling right now. <laughs> it's a mix of uh, disappointment and anger. Uh, I can't stop thinking about uh, the Grand Prix that I just lost. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm very, I don't want to say um, I'm not sad about it, uh, but I'm very disappointed because uh, I would have loved to, um, to be able to win again today. Um, I'm very happy with the way my horse has been jumping. Uh, I'm very happy with uh, all my team, uh, my groom Emma, of course the owner of the horse and everybody back home who's, who's helping me. So I'm happy with everybody. I'm happy the way I rode today. But, you know, no one really... Um, I mean, I have, a beauty, I have a fantastic day. I'm second in this Grand Prix. Any other Grand Prix, I would be really happy about it. I've got a huge paycheck, so also a big reason to be very happy about. Uh, but... There is a huge difference between the winner and then being second is basically the first loser in a major like this. Uh, I would have loved to add a major on my resume, so uh, yeah, it's nothing to be sad about, but I am very disappointed with the, with, with the results, even though I am happy about a lot of, a lot of things and for a lot of reasons today.